A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus A plus English, that's so much fun, English education, for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh-huh. learn something new every day, learn the A plus away. Welcome everyone to A Plus English. I'm Adam. And I'm Elsie. Wow, today we're going to look at some special animals in Japan. So, Adam, you're a cat lover, right? Yeah, I would say we're both cat people. I mean, I love all kinds of animals, but cats are my favorite. And I know cats are your favorites too. But what would be your second favorite animal? You are right. Cats are my favorite animals. They're just so cute. And I think rabbits would be my second favorite animals. Ugh, rabbits are dirty. Yeah, you said they're so dirty and they poop everywhere, but I wonder if it's true. That's right. Well, our warm up question is which places in Taiwan have special animals? Oh, I remember when we were taking a hike in Kaohsiung in the mountains. We saw about, what, 10 to 12? Monkeys? Yeah, it was crazy. I've never seen monkeys outside the zoo before. And you were scared of them. Right, and I don't like monkeys. I think they're just so, you know, sneaky and evil. That's right. Well, today we are going to check out the special animal areas in Japan. Let's find out more. Check out the special animal areas in Japan. Warm up question. Which places in Taiwan have special animals? We all know about Japan's famous landmarks, history, food, and art. However, Japan also has special areas with large populations of animals. These are popular places to see animals in the wild. Today, let's take a look at three of them. Well, we all know about Japan's famous landmarks, history, food, and art, the article says. And Taiwan has some pretty famous landmarks, such as Taipei 101, Shanghai Shek Memorial Hall. Can Elsie, you think of any other landmarks that are famous here in Taiwan? Oh, there are actually a lot, right? Like you said, Taipei 101, Shanghai Shek Memorial Hall, and Senya Xian. Memorial Hall, and also Taipei Arena. Yeah, those are some pretty famous landmarks, I'd say, here. Now, what do you think about in the world? Wow, like the Eiffel Tower in Paris? That's right, yeah. What else?、Mm, I would say the Statue of Liberty in、hmm. America. Well, in our article, it says, however, Japan also has special areas with large populations of animals. I believe my hometown. Has a population of about 400,000 people. So it's pretty, you know, it's kind of a pretty small city. What about Taipei, your hometown? Good question, Taipei, my hometown. It has a population about 2,600,000. Wow, that is a lot of people out there. Right. Oh my God. It's such a small area. It is. Well, Our article continues to say these are popular places to see animals in the wild. Oh, it's actually rare to see wild animals in Taipei, but I remember in your hometown, we did see some turkeys and deer. Yeah, you can see a lot of wild animals in my hometown. Yeah, you'll see some turkeys, like you said, you'll see turkey crossings, and then you have to stop your car to watch all the turkeys cross the road and deer. Um, sometimes, even if you're lucky or maybe n- unlucky, you can see some coyotes. Ooh, coyotes. Those are very frightening animals, right? That's right.、Hmm. So, we are looking at popular places to see wild animals in Japan today. Yeah, so today, let's take a look at three of them Rabbit Island or Okunoshima. 
is in the inland sea of Japan. During World War II, people made chemical weapons there. After the war was over, few people lived there. However, now it's famous for about 1,000 cute and friendly wild rabbits. People can watch them and take photos of them. It's fine to feed them and pet them. Don't hold them or give them human food, though. Well, getting back to our article, it says Rabbit Island or Ukunoshima is in the inland sea of Japan. During World War II, people made chemical weapons there. Wow, so this island is called Rabbit Island. There must be so many, many rabbits on this island, and I would love to visit this island full of rabbits. Ugh, not me, as you know. I think, like you said, they are dirty and they poop everywhere. They poop too much. I know you don't like them, but during World War II, chemical weapons were made there. What are some chemical weapons that we know of? Well, some include mustard gas, sarin, or cyanide, which are all very dangerous and could lead to health problems or death. So some of those could even kill you, those chemicals. Wow. But, you know, sadly now, as we are talking about wars, there is still a war going on in Ukraine as we do this recording today. I know. It's so sad. Hopefully, the war will end soon and everyone will have peace there. Yeah, I hope so, too. So what happened to this island after World War II? Well, after World War II, the article says, after the war was over, few people lived there. And I think most were probably afraid because these dangerous chemicals were being made there. True. So what about now? Like recently? Mm, What's that, going on on the island? That's a good question. Well, the article jumps back by saying, however, now it's famous for about 1,000 cute and friendly wild rabbits. Wow, so rabbit lovers would love to visit this island. And speaking of island, we know Taiwan is an island, right? What do you think Taiwan is famous for? Mm, Taiwan is famous for, well, I know Taiwan is pretty famous for making bubble milk tea. <laughs> it's delicious tea. And, and I would say the most thing, at least for me, the friendly people. Right, we are famous for our friendly people and also exciting places to go and delicious food. That's right, except for stinky tofu. Oh, you don't <laughs> like stinky tofu at all. That's right, but the thing I'm curious about to know is where do you think the rabbits came from? Do you think they were test subjects? You mean they put the rabbits there on the island during the war as test subjects? Really? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. To see if it's safe, maybe? Maybe. But rabbits are too cute to be test subjects. Nah, okay, yeah, you might be right there. But, you know, who knows? Maybe they did. Well, getting back to the article, everyone, it says people can watch them and take photos of them. It's fine to feed them and pet them. Oh, wow, you love petting our cat, don't you? Oh, you're right. I do love petting him, but sometimes he'll bite me if he doesn't want to be pet. That's right. So on this island, when people go there, they can watch the rabbits and take photos of them. And also, they can feed them and pet them. That's right. So, But it also says, moving forward, the article says, don't hold them or give them human food, though. Oh, so you can pet them, but you can't hold them. Maybe they don't like to be held, just like our cat. That's right. You can pet them, take a picture with them, but don't hold them and don't feed them human food. And why do you think it's important not to give rabbits human food? Yeah, a lot of times you see tourists or visitors feeding animals in zoos. But I remember some people told me that it's not good to do so. But why? So maybe it's because... What we feed them is actually going to hurt them. Yeah, we better just stick with the experts on this and just trust what they should be fed. So, quick question. What do you think rabbits eat? Oh, I think everyone knows, right? Maybe rabbits will eat carrots and other things. Really, anything in a garden, right? So, carrots, vegetables. Mm -hmm. Like what kind? 
All right. Well, I would say maybe they would eat、uh, beets, right? Oh, and also nuts.、Oh, I know、no. nuts are not vegetables, but I think rabbits eat nuts too, right? I would su- assume so. I know they would eat maybe nuts. I know squirrels eat a lot of nuts.、Mm-hmm. Um, I think rabbits kind of are. You know, we would say they're opportunist, right? They will try to eat anything they can get their little hands on and their little mouths on. <laughs> right. They、exactly. look so adorable. Okay, so we don't really know what they eat, or we don't really know what's good for them, what's not. So we better just, like you said, leave it to the animal experts. That's right. Hmm. 好，接下来呢，我们要到单字的部分喽。今天的第一个单字啊，我们要看到的是 population 这个名词，在课文当中呢，它代表的是动物总数。那当然，这个字也可以指的是人口总数。那因为它是总数总称，那后面就不要再加上 s 了。那我们要说一个地方的人口总数，可以说 the population of 后面加上地方。所以呢，课文例句给的是、啊、the population of chickens on the farm。Provides fresh eggs for breakfast. 农场里面的鸡群为早餐供应新鲜的蛋。那再来第二个，我们要看到的是 war 这个字。好，这个名词代表的是战争。那有比如说第一次世界大战呢、啊，那就是 World War One； 第二次世界大战 World War Two； 还有现在还在发生的哈 Russia Ukraine War， 那就是俄国跟这个乌克兰的战争。那 during the war。代表的就是在战争当中，我们会用到 during 这个介系词。那我们可以说这么样的一个例句 ：Several buildings were bombed during the war。代表几栋建筑物在战争中被炸毁。那课文例句里头说的是 ：The soldiers fought against each other in the war and many people died。士兵在战争当中相互搏斗，许多人因此身亡。那第三个我们要讲到的是 pet。P E T 这个动词代表的是抚摸，那我们可以抚摸什么呢？像是动物，对不对？可爱的动物们。For example, we can pet a cat. 我们可以抚摸猫。We can pet a dog. 我们可以摸狗。We can also pet a rabbit. 我们也可以抚摸兔子。好，所以呢 ，For example, our cat loves being petted. 啊，代表我们的猫是很喜欢被人家抚摸的。那另外呢 ，pet 也可以当做名词使用，那就是宠物。所以呢，养宠物我们可以用这个动词，就是 keep keep a pet. Do you keep a pet? 你有饲养宠物吗？当然，你也可以说 Do you have a pet? 那课文例句给的是 I like to pet my dog because it makes her comfortable. 我喜欢抚摸我的狗，因为这样它会很舒服。再来第四个单词，我们看到的是 human。指的是人类的，好，所以 human 在这边当的是形容词用哦。后面可以加上什么样的字呢？像是 human body， 指的就是人类的身体，人体。human rights， 人类的权利，人权，或者是 human errors， 人为的错误。那当然， human 也可以当做人类解释。那课文例句给的是 ，There are about a hundred thousand hairs on a human head, but every person is different. 人类的头上大约有十万根的头发，但还是因人而异。那接下来到了 magic box 的部分，我们要看到的是 be famous for 的用法。那因为 for 是个介系词，大家都很熟悉，所以后面呢我们要加上名词或是 v i n g。那中文呢代表的就是一点点点文明。那如果你不想要用 famous， 你也可以用。Known or is well known 来代替。那像是呢，你可以这样说 ：The restaurant is famous for its great service. 这间餐厅以良好的服务闻名。或者是呢，说到我们台湾呐、啊、，Taiwan is famous for its friendly people. 台湾以友善的人民而闻名。Okay, everyone. Well, what we are going to do now is it's time for review time. Okay, so what are some words that we have today? The words we have are population, war, pet, and human. That's right. And so what we are going to do is we are going to basically play a comprehension game. Oh, so you are going to give a test? That's right. I am going to basically ask you a question. And you have to use for your answer one of the vocabulary words. Oh, okay. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, let's get into it. All right, number one. What is the population of rabbits on Rabbit Island? Oh, what is the population? 
Hmm, I think the population of rabbits on this island is about what? One hundred rabbits? One one thousand? One thousand, not one hundred. One thousand. One thousand. All right. Number two. Which war was mentioned in the article? Which war?、Mm. World War, not one, but two. Very good. World War Two. Yeah, it was World War Two. All right, number three. What can you do with the rabbits besides taking pictures with them? So, if you're a visitor and you go to that island, you can take pictures with the rabbits, and also you can feed them. That's right. You can feed them, pet them, feed them, and pet them. Yes. But not hold them. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Number four. Okay. What can't you do with rabbits while you are there? Oh, so I just said it. You can't hold the rabbits or give them human food when you are there on the island. That's right. They have a special diet. They can only eat certain foods. All right. So that's all the time we have for today for A Plus English. I'm Elsie. And I'm Adam. See you soon. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye bye. สวัสดีค่ะอายนี่ฮะว่าจะเป็นเมื่อยวิทยาศาสตร์ในการเรียนรู้ฉันเป็นสาวสวยฉันเป็นเด็กที่ดีฉันเป็นสาวสวยฉันเป็นเด็กที่ดีฉันเป็นสาวสวยฉันเป็นเด็กที่ดีฉันเป็นสาวสวยฉันเป็นเด็กที่ดีฉันเป็นสาวสวยฉันเป็นเด็กที่ดีฉันเป็นสาวสวยฉันเป็นเด็กที่ดีฉันเป็นสาวสวยฉันเป็นเด็กที่ดีฉันเป็นสาวสวยฉันเป็น首先呢，刚刚开头的句子说 ，also I am a beautiful girl. I'm also very smart. Also 呢，我们中文就可以翻译为也。OK， 这个字呢，它可以作为副词来使用。在句子里面呢，我们通常把它放在助词和一般动词之间。像是呢，我喜欢打球，喜欢打篮球。哎，我也喜欢什么呢？ I also like tennis. 我也喜欢打网球。Also 呢，我们就放在 like 这个一般动词的前面了。那如果遇到 be 动词或是助动词，那就是要记得放在后面了。像是呢，刚刚看到 I am also very smart. 我也很聪明。我们就把 also 放在 am 的后面。Also 呢，其实也可以放在句尾了。文法呢没有错，但是通常不会这么用。那放在句尾的时候该怎么办呢？这时候我们通常会使用另外一组单字哦。我们可以用 to 或者是片语呢 as well。例如呢，哎呀，隔壁班的男生哈、哦、一直传讯息给我了。我说我下课要去打网球，这样就说他要去。另外一个 Kevin 呢啊，当然也要去哦。John wants to play tennis. Kevin wants to play tennis as well. Kevin 也想去哦。我们就在句尾用 as well 这个片语，或是呢，我们也可以用 to t o o. Kevin wants to play tennis too. 就是这么简单啦。但是呢，还是有几个小重点要提示你啦。首先呢 ，as well 通常呢不放在句首哦，如果出现了，通常呢是在句子的尾巴。那 to 的话呢，放在句尾会加上逗点了。Kevin wants to play tennis， 逗号 to。最后呢，意思一样是也，但是如果是否定句，我们呢则是要使用 either 这个单字了。通常呢，它也是放在句子的后面。像是呢，我们后来去打球，哎，因为长得太成熟了，被误会是老师了。He is not a teacher. I am not either. 我也不是啦。哼，我这么年轻可爱，你怎么可以认错呢？